What's up, guys? I'm Katie Van Buren, and you're watching Vivo's Facebook Live, and I'm hanging backstage with Fifth Harmony. Hey, girl! Here at the Ford Amphitheater in Coney Island, Brooklyn. Let's hear it for Fifth Harmony, girls! Woo! Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Now, it's been an incredible summer for these girls so far. They released their second studio album, 727, to rave reviews. They're on right in the middle of a headline tour, I should say, and they just dropped their music video for All On My Head featuring Fetty Wap, which you can watch on the Vivo app. But before you do that, I would suggest that you stick with us right here because for the next 20 minutes or so we're going to be hanging out with the girls themselves so thank you for coming thanks for thank you for us. having us ireland. <laughs> yes. ireland good irish accent and i'm wrapping the country with the green you know Ooh, it has to be yes, done girl. just in case you might you know think i'm american or something no gotcha. no all <laughs> irish here um let's get straight to it though like recently last week you girls broke records because you were the first girl band to surpass one billion views on vivo on one music <laughs> video Wait, is yes, so with the song yeah, worth it, it with kidding yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. yeah, we got. So we got how did that feel, and who delivered the news? That's uh, it's insane. We always yeah. find out everything through our fans. They I know honestly. before we know. <laughs> Yeah, they were all like, hey, guys, you know, you reached a billion. We were like, oh, my God, no, we did it, but thanks. But it's not only reaching a billion views. It's the fact that you're, like, breaking records. Right. That's the fantastic all part of it. All of it is it. insane. All of it's insane. Is that, like, for any and girl group? Like, yeah. Like, wow. Online, one billion views. So and what was cool. going through your head when you found that out? I, don't, I literally just can't even imagine. Like, I don't even... Like that number doesn't even feel like real to me. Like a billion, yeah, billion. billion. Like, like a made up word, like a gajillion. Like it's like when you imagine eternity and you're like forever and ever and ever, yeah. you can't possibly fathom that amount of people yeah. watching your video or even in a room that they could exist. So oh, congratulations wow. on Thank that. You. Thank, you. Thank you so, so much. much. And you're of course, yeah, it makes you feel very worth it. Makes me feel worth it so much. She totally was there. So funny. <laughs> And girls, you're obviously no stranger to touring. You've been touring so much. Yeah. yeah. Can you agree on a highlight oh, together out of all the touring you've done so far for the past four years? 727. This tour? Yeah, no, for me, out of all the touring, out of all the touring that we've ever done, for me, this is the best one we've ever done. Because it, like, just the, the whole team that we put together and, like, the, the way that we've worked with each other, how quickly we put it together and how, like, great it's turned out the production value like the way that we take people like on a ride i think it's really fun yeah. and and the songs are really fun to perform so that's really and nice. you're gonna knock Definitely. it out of the park tonight for sure thank yes, you um <laughs> you are nervous see that's why i'm always yeah. like girl but they so don't get nervous but everyone gets yeah, nervous it's get human nervous. no we get nervous yeah, we get nervous trust also. me but I that's like, what makes you excel you know it's honestly, the nerves that do it but honestly yeah. like before we get on stage if i'm not nervous that means something's that's wrong well. and i'm not going to perform well if i am nervous then that means it's going to be a great show yeah so i think me being nervous and having anxiety is it raining in here oh my god did you not bring your brawly we were joking about it before we were going to need umbrellas we even need the walls umbrellas. are sweating it's so hot in here well anyway guys yeah. i could i could ask you questions all day but for the past few days we've been generating some fan questions Let's online on facebook questions. instagram questions. twitter but also we have an audience Filled, filled with harmonizers here. What's up, Brooklyn? You can't see them, guys, but we swear there's about 20 They're really very beautiful full-blown harmonizers promise. right there. So we're going to mix it up. We're going to ask Young a few fan here. questions from online, and then we're going to get a few audience members to come up and ask you questions themselves. Oh, Let's cool. Do it. All right, so up first, we have a Twitter question from at Celine4 featuring 5H. Okay, so at Celine4 featuring 5H wants to know, what is your favorite song to perform on the 727 tour and why? And she just also wants to make sure that you know, Argentina loves you. Oh, we you. love Argentina. We miss you. Wow. That's crazy. Uh, for me, I would definitely say my favorite performance we do on the 727 tour would have to be um, Squeeze. I think it's really oh, cute. I just cool. like the mood and I think also No Way. I love how it starts the tone yeah. of like the mystery island that we created. Um, and yeah, for me. Any other favorites? Ooh, um, Hi, dang. What's yours? There's a lot. I love, okay, I really like performing Big, ba Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. I think that's a really cool side to us. <laughs> um, I also love That's My Girl because it's so strong. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get better is like my favorite song from the album. So, of course, I am biased to that one too. There's a lot of really great numbers, honestly. Awesome. Oh, another kind of girl. It's like, yeah. mm. Amazing. With well, it's so, it's so, so fun. It's so fun. Well, Celine, it's I hope you enjoyed that answer. Life, so now we actually you. we have a fun question. Oh, so okay. first oh, up, we have it. Gabby K from New York. Gabby, come on up. Gabby. Hey, Gabby. Squeeze cute shorts. shorts. Her shorts are so cute. Pins, because you guys had it on like, your costume. Oh, oh, look at it. So it's like, I picked it by that. That's cute. Love the inspiration. Flash inspiration. 
So my question is, um, what song before you released 727 did you predict would be the fan favorite? Ooh. Oh. I think, like unanimously, we, we said Flex. I think, right? Yeah. Well, we we thought it. that that, we that was one of our favorites. Not for me. I didn't think of Not for me. Really? Yeah. I, I thought Flex would be. Yeah. I thought Flex. Oh, thanks. And Dope. I thought Dope. I thought Dope. Oh, I thought dope. Yeah, yeah, Dope yeah. too. I thought you guys would love Dope. <laughs> I thought y'all would die. Were we wrong? I mean, every song is a fan favorite. Let's be real. Let's be real. Everyone has their own diverse taste. But thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yay. So now we have another Twitter question from at Cabio AGB. Cabello AGB. You got it. There we go. How do you guys know? Cabello AGB. Um, what's your favorite thing about touring so many different places? Um, I just love to see like the different culture and how different like people live. Um, it's really cool when we go international just because like we just came from Japan and it was really nice. And then to go from Japan to South America and then where else did we go? We went to uh, Australia wow, and New yeah. Zealand. It was just all pretty crazy because yeah. we were in so many places in such a small amount of time. Yeah. So hopefully we get the opportunity to go back and actually like be able to experience it. Yeah. And explore it more. But it's but. good. It's like research. You get a small taster of what you like and where you want to go yeah. back to so you exactly. can invest your time into somewhere you know you'll love. One that thing is, in that New is Zealand, exactly how I've been taking a it. research tour. A That's research what you're tour. Really on. So <laughs> like you go around in New Zealand, I had um this thing. It was like watermelon. It's called cured watermelon, and I can't stop talking about it because it was so good. <laughs> what is it? Um, it was watermelon with like Cajun seasoning Ooh. soaked into it but it was so good it's something that i've never had here which i'm sure maybe i can make it but it won't taste the same it's but, like the oh. mango with the hot sauce it's so good oh, you gotta mix Wait, it up mango with hot sauce yeah they sell that on the streets in new york city mm -hmm. okay we have another fine question we have Alyssa d from new york come on over Alyssa. Yeah. yeah so tell us tell us and about tell this us about Okay, so I just won a pageant one week Yay! ago. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations. Go, girl. <laughs> it's called International Junior Miss. I just won the national pageant. Wow. I love how she's so casual about it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. And just to say, your outfits are so spot on. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Your, your sash is so spot on. Okay, so my question is, if you were to give one piece of advice to a young girl like me, what would it be? I love that. Ooh. One piece of advice that I would give you. Um, I mean, I don't know you, so I don't know what's going on in your life. No, she's a pageant winner. But I know you're a pageant winner, so that's awesome. Um, I think maybe is to just not ever limit yourself of what it is that you can do or who you can be. Because yes. I feel like humans are, like, ever-evolving, and we kind of, like, change what we love and what we who we are, like, like as fluidly as we want to, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. we can create whoever we want, so just never limit yourself and always... Kind of keep searching for yourself. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Sky is literally the limit. So We're all shivering. The chills. Okay. Um, Good job. Girl. We have another question from the Instagram Mylin H Lamb. The Instagram. Uh, what's your favorite music video uh, that you've shot? Oh, that we've shot. I think Amila um, my favorite music video we've shot. I really liked the Write On Me video, um, just because I feel like it was different than any of the other ones that we've done. Like, it wasn't really like we weren't, you know, trying to be sexy or like there was no like choreography. Like, it was literally just us singing in a black and white um, kind of scenery, wearing our own clothes. And you just got to style yourselves. Yeah. We did. Totally and it was just kind unique. of, it was just really raw. What? No, I don't know. Carlene did our makeup. But it was very, it was very, it was very raw and real and like not trying hard, which I, I love that. So it was different. Nice. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that answer. Personally, I very much so did. And um, we have mm -hmm. another fan. Who do we have? We have Ooh. Shelly from New Jersey. Yes. Come on, Shelly. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you kidding. for the first time. Shelly, we've, how long have we known you, Shelly? Oh, for like four Since years. Since the beginning. Like three years, probably. Yeah. I've known you, you longer than I've known myself, basically. You're like, you're like the super, most super of super fans. But I mean, we can name like by name like from a lot of Yeah, for sure. 
Okay. I'm glad we have the right fonts in the room. Okay, Shelly, what's your question? My question is, if you were a Crayola crayon, what would you name your color? Oh, that's really awesome. Ooh, I would name me I iridescent. And then it would be, it would be like that color. It would be like, it would be glittery, see-through and like glittery in different colors, depending on where you tilt it. In the you light. are ready for this question. I know. You've I was so excited. For how long, though? I was so excited. Yeah, I, I practiced that question in the wow. shower. Wow. That's Does amazing. anyone else have a color that they'd love to be Crayola wise? Hey, putting us on the spot. Color. It's hard. I can't be I that love creative. Your accent. Damn. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I honestly just love blue green, the Crayola color. Yeah. I'm just gonna stay there. Ocean color. Stay, that ocean color. I'm just gonna stay there. Like that's what I like. Chameleon. Just because I always like the change. So that's like if the cool. crayon could change colors. Based on like the day. We're getting like, creative here. <laughs> the internet you are watching, make it happen for Namani. <laughs> I didn't change my answer. <laughs> that was nice. Fifth Harmony Crayons, you're gonna make it happen. Fifth Harmony Crayola with your own specific colors. Yeah. Great question. Thank you. <clears throat> and we could have all different skin answer. colors too. Yeah. That'd, be cool. That'd be really cool. Okay. We have another question, and it's from Facebook. Hazel Joseph. I love Facebook. I love Facebook so Hazel much. Joseph asks, how did you guys choose your costumes for the tour? Did you choose them according to your style? Because I love them. They are really, really awesome. That's great. Um, oh, my gosh. Okay, so we have this fantastic designer named Michael Costello. Michael Costello. Shout out to Michael. so much. Shout not, out. Not only is he one of the greats ever. And the twins. The Estrada twins. Antonio and Jesus. Um, they are so incredible at what they do. <laughs> they really get us <laughs> and our style. Um, and we kind of already had a theme to this tour uh, prior to the sketches, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. And so that kind of went along with the theme. I mean, in one of our costumes, it's very like militant, strong. And then the other part, um, yeah, like flight attendant ish. And the other part is very like kind of dark and, and, and sexy and kind of sets the mood. Um, oh. Leotard. I don't want to give it too much away, but y'all are going to see it later. Seen it. No, <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah, so awesome as well it. that you seem to really love your outfits. It would be awful to have to we wear something you don't. They're, they're gorgeous. No, Thank I've seen you. Things. Well, it's, it's them, so. Tune in tonight we, to see we, the we really have fun. Okay, so we have another fan. Cassie L. Cassie, hey, girl. Cassie, hey, Cassie where are you girl. from? I'm from, like, Long Island. Oh, nice. We've okay. also known Cassie for four years now. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like I'm hanging out with, like, a big friend circle here. She went to college, became a grown woman. Yes. Now so she's back. Of college, yeah. It's so, like, cool. Look at you. Grow up, you know? We're growing up with them. I always forget that. Like I'm aging with other people. What's your question? Um, my question. Same. What's your question? My question is, what is your favorite book and why? I have one. Go. Okay. My favorite book is called um, The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. And um, basically, the way that it's written, right? It's the best book ever. Like, the way that it's written is so beautiful. Like, the language that the author uses. This is going to sound really dark, but he basically writes it from the point of view of death. And um, so death is basically like the character that's telling the story. And it's, it's, it's set in World War II, like the Holocaust. And um, basically, he just kind of describes like what it was like taking people's like souls away or like taking people's lives away. And he watches this one particular girl and her story. And just like the language that he uses is so beautiful. And it has one of my favorite quotes in there. It's so simple, but it's like, it's my heart is so tired. And it's like, I don't know. It's just like, it's just like the perfect like phrase for that emotion. It makes me want to cry. It's, it's just one more beautiful. Time, what's it called? Um, the book thief. So Camila's book club, the book thief you should watch it. You should read it. Well, thank I, you. I like um, A Thousand Splendid Sons Ooh. by, Khal I think, Khalil Hassan is his name. Yeah, right. Um, I just love his writing. I think he's an incredible storyteller. And I love like reading books kind of from the perspective of someone else in the world. And it's from the perspective of, um, I think, an Af Afghan girl. Um, and so it's like you, you get to like experience like what they go through and how it is to be a woman over there and the hardships that they face. And it was one of the most eye-opening books that I've ever read in my life, so. What's your favorite book, Cassie? Um, I really like Sarah's Key. Have you guys ever heard of it? Sarah's Key, yeah, I've heard oh, of it. Oh, cool. I, I feel like, you, I feel like you, should, you should read it, because it's yeah. kind of similar to The Book Thief. I think you guys would really like it. It's, it's sad, but it's really good. Okay. It would totally change your views on things. Cool. cool. Sarah's Key. Yeah, Sarah's Key. 
Thanks, Thanks Cassie. I love that. Little one minute book club. Thank you so much. Thanks, Cass. Um, woo -woo. Movie clubs okay. are fun. Um, club. We have another Facebook question from Angelica Walters. How do y'all feel when fans sing back all the lyrics to your songs? It's very cool. Like, it's awesome. It's I, think sorry. It's <laughs> I think it's amazing. <laughs> I remember I when our first song, song, Miss Moving On. Mm -hmm. It was Ugh. so cool when Anthem. we did, like, when oh, yeah. Miss Moving On came out. Um, it was just cool when we went to do these um, mall tours. And even in these little mall tours, these girls were singing back our lyrics for the first time of our own music. Um, it was definitely heartwarming to witness. <laughs> it was definitely heartwarming to witness. And I don't know, it just, it just gets you excited. It get, makes you feel, like, loved that people actually, you know, are jamming out to your own song. Because that so was cool. the first massive <clears throat> anthem that that would have happened with, right? That was the one... That's when it started. <sighs> I remember it. Wow. Now we're moving on. Moving on. We're moving on. All the way. Oh, this way. Okay. Yes, this and time. we have another fan. We've got Nicole B from New York City. Woo! Come on down, Nicole. Hello. Another OG. Hello, Nicole. Hi, Pisces sister. Yeah. Hi. Um, I know you guys have been to a lot of places, done a lot of things, but what's number one on your bucket list right now? Ooh, My bucket list has just won. been crossed out so much. Yeah, <laughs> I actually went to a Mets yeah. game yesterday, a Mets versus Yankees game yesterday. Is no. <clears throat> hey, I was going for both teams. Okay, I don't know much about baseball. <laughs> um, I'm so Fair sorry. Fair weather fun. But Mets, were, <laughs> Mets, I love them. Um, and I actually went to visit this place. Oh, well, we went to Australia, New Zealand again. Yeah. New Zealand for the first yeah. time. And I got to visit um, this island that my family all grew up on and it was called Tonga and it was really amazing just to witness like how pure of how pure these people were and how I got to see it was just a humbling experience honestly just being there in their presence made me view things differently here in America so it was cool I, I think you were saying um, you saw the pictures did you yeah she posted a oh, lot on Facebook yeah she and did. I did I know she's very yeah, I'm always on Facebook so you understand I need to get back live <gasps> it's back a bit on. dry um, <laughs> but um, I think another moment would be to win another VMA. That would be really cool. Coming I'm just up. putting it out there. Yeah. Up. Okay, fair enough. So wait, you're nominated <laughs> for VMA is around the corner. music video collaboration, Best right? Collaboration. But we're in the category with Beyonce and Rihanna and Drake. That's hard. It's nice hey, so come on, put the positive vibes out there. It's on my bucket list to backpack around Europe and Southeast Asia. So. I want to do that. Where do you want to go, Lauren? Um, in Europe, I want to try um, going around Eastern Europe. So I want to go to like Germany and all of those places. <laughs> and Poland, Sweden and Poland. And there's all like and the North and Norway and yes. Sweden, Bulgaria. And I also want to go like to um, like India and Laos and the Malaysia and like Vietnam in that area. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come with me, girl. We She's can go trying back to go on a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, girls, I think that's all we've got time for right now. Aww. Yeah. That was so fast. That was really Blue. quick. Bye. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. Yay, we guys. love you. So nice. Thanks to everybody like watching, you. Too. watching Vivo's Facebook Live. But make sure you know there's actually a thing called the Vivo VIP Sweeps. Oh. So basically, one lucky Fifth Harmony fan is going to get flown out to San Francisco oh, with wow. one of their friends. They're going to, yes, yeah, San Francisco. Yes. They're yes. going to get to see these girls perform live. They're going to be in the front row of the performance. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes. I'm Not so only excited. that, Vivo's going to give them a hotel for the night. They're going to get a backstage tour. Can I apply for this? They're, gonna get, <laughs> they're also going to get Damn, outfits Vivo. for the whole entire day. Oh. And they're going to get to go Damn. to a sound check party. Yes. Once again, can I apply I for this? I got the hookup. So the Vivo VIP sweeps. Yeah, well, San Vivo. Francisco. When you guys are in, no, it's still going on. People can still, they can still apply to win. And they're going to get a meet and greet with you. So wow. if you guys wow. are watching and you're thinking, oh, my question didn't get asked, you might get to ask them yourselves up close and personal with the girls of Fifth Harmony. So to see how to win hey. that, check the link in the Facebook description that they can find above. Are you high-fiving or are you just I like, she has a whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, yeah. Most importantly, do they get free food? Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure we could do. We can see what we can do. We can supply definitely some okay. some food for these fans. Sure they, get some food with that. they will. Yeah, because it's going to be a long day. They're going to need a few it's meals. Be a long day. <laughs> well, girls, thank you so much for hanging with us. Thank it's you. Been amazing. Thank you. And thank you to all you guys out there for watching. I love you. And thank we you love to you. all these amazing fans. Let's hear yeah. from Fifth Harmony one more time. I thought we were just thank you.